Hello everyone, this is Crazy Common here, and welcome to Titan Research, a Minecraft horror map by, um, someone. Uh, hold on. Uh, well, their name will be in the description. Yeah. Jonathan Adams is a father who is struggling financially and emotionally after the loss of his son, Gabriel. When he gets back to work, he's commissioned to retrieve money in the in an abandoned facility from for the former what? When he gets back to work, he's commissioned to retrieve money in an abandoned facility for the former owners. Makes no sense to me, but okay. And uh, the map is by Scamander. Okay, let's get started. Turn up your volume and turn your brightness down. Nah, I think my brightness is okay. Okay, that's kind of loud. That's hold on. That's actually really loud. That's still really loud. Presented by Scamander. Hi, Jonathan. It's Mark. I'd like to apologize in advance for the short notice, but we've recently got a call from the former Titan Research Facility owners. They want us to obtain money that was left in the building. This needs to be returned to me, at latest 5 in the morning, which means you are going to have to leave tonight. Yeah, that may suck, but look at the bright side. You're most likely going to get a raise from this. What I want you to do is go to the office and pick up the things in your cabinet. It explains what's required to do. Anyways, good luck on your mission. Whoa, that's a dispenser that you didn't bother to rename. Boo boo. Clipping textures. How could you? It's not even necessary. Whatever. <laughs> it's like, it's not even necessary for that to be clipping. Okay, hopefully this music isn't copyright. Actually, I don't really care because I don't make money off of this anyway. And, wow, that's a Sony. <laughs> and they don't, uh... Copyright claims don't affect me, really, unless they try and strike the video. Uh, okay, nothing under the stairs. We don't got Harry Potter living here. That's good to know. Uh, my badge. Okay, we're going to do it like this. Fine, the easy way of putting items down. Uh, okay. Really? At this hour? I guess I have to go to my office. If I'm not mistaken, the address is 67 Kajahandra Avenue. Why do I have to say, if I'm not mistaken, for my work address... I go over there every day for the... Why is my house in a mountain? I go over there... Go, oh my gosh. I go there every day. Like, I shouldn't... Oh my gosh, I have to find it? Are you serious? Also, these are massive! Like, are you supposed to put trash in this thing? Jesus Christ! Anyway, I haven't done a video in a long time, and I apologize for that. Um, I might start doing videos on a schedule, but I'm also not sure. I just don't really have time... Um, during the day, unfortunately. Golden Gate Avenue, why? Um, what is this? Kajahandra, I have to find Kajahandra first. Okay, okay, well it's not that way, probably. But yeah, I just don't really have time in the day to record anymore. Uh, which is unfortunate, oh my gosh, what's this massive stuff? Anyway, which is unfortunate, but, uh, yeah, okay. Here we go, and seven, six, seven hundred. Six, seven hundred. This? Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Where's my desk? What's the... Oh, it's a redstone torch up there. Interesting. Okay, where's my office, though? Um, Riz, why don't you do is, uh, go to the office and pick up the few things in your cabinet. Uh, I, okay. That's the bathroom. That's a restroom, son! Okay, where is there a, even a cabinet? Maybe upstairs? Oh, okay, what the heck is my name? Oh, I'm like, John, ja, 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 something? What's my name? Jonathan. Yeah, I was like, I'm J something, right? Okay, why are you sticking stuff in my cabinet? Okay, where the heck is my, oh, it's up there. I'm just blind. Instructions, building info, and a key. Okay. Let's read. I can't see which one I'm selected. Eight. Okay, this is instructions. Building name, Titan Research. Year open, 1928. Year closed, 2014. That is a long time. <laughs> Current state, multiple cave-ins, many walls and ceilings broken, broken windows. Info, we have turned the power, turned the power on to the best of its ability. Okay. So, 
is this 2019 or was the building closed in 2000? Like, so is this 2019 and the building was closed in 2014, right? So, okay, whatever. I'm just going to, I was about to pick apart the story. I'm sorry. Mr. Adams, we've recently received a call from the former owners of Titan Research Organization telling us that a vast quantity of money has been left behind at the old building, which is set to be demolished. What I need to do is the following. Grab the key from your office space, enter the facility with it. You can see it from the office window. Collect the cash, return the amount to me, which will be picked up by, by the owners in the late afternoon. Good luck, Dr. Mark Santamaria. Santamaria. Okay, I hate that I can't see what I'm selected on. That's so annoying. As a tip, for anyone designing resource packs, do actually make it so you can see what part of the hopper you selected. Like, you can get rid of the bar, but make it so that, like, I can, like, tell where I'm selected, basically, is what I'm saying. Anyway, is this the, the Titan Research thing? No, it's not. Okay, so it's a, you could see it from the office window, but that's really not helpful. Uh, that's a skull, all right. Scoliosis. <laughs> oh, I can go back here. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this was intentional. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. Oh, but I can't. I can just go back there. That's so weird. But there's like a dirt roof. Why can't I go back here? Why can't I go back there in two separate places? Oh, I can climb the mountain, too. Ooh, wow, I can go places. Is this the Titan? Oh, yep, it's got a big frickin' T. It's obviously Titan Research. Ow. Titan Research East Entrance. Coat Exit. Titan Research. Cool. Are they researching Titans? Perfect. The door is unlocked. What? Who locked me in here? Um, well, it wasn't me. That's all I can say. All right. So we gotta find the money. Jason, where'd you hide the money? Where'd you put the money, Jason? Jason, where'd the money? I don't know why I'm saying Jason, it means nothing. Um, okay. Jonathan, where'd you put the money? There we go. Okay, I can't, okay, I can't go in there. Why did I say I can't twice? Who really knows? Alright, so, let's see, we got that. That's the exit, that's closed. Hello? Try to leave, and boom! Got a bomb on me? I got a bomb on me. Well, looks like we gotta take the elevator. That sucks. But, you know, of course, it's the way it is. There's actually, surprisingly, a lot of light in here for a building that's been shut down for possibly... How many years? Five years? That's a long time. And why am I going down to basement four? Yeah, exactly. Four basements? That's absurd. Time to locate the money. Okay, how do we know the basement? The basement? It's in here. Welcome to basement four. Well, I mean, it's a research facility, but I think four basements is a little much. Just saying. Okie dokie. So we got that. We got that. Ooh, hello. Dude, look at this gamer chair. Like, he's about to be freaking gaming. He's gonna shrek your ass. Alright. Um, hello? Hello? Oh, sounds. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Uh, oop, I see that. Yeah, it's through the ground. You forgot to do some stuff. Anyway. Uh, okie dokie. That's a lot of freaking lockers. I, I mean, it could be. Is this the, like, a locker room or something? What's it say? Storage. Okay, I mean, I guess. Looks more like a locker room to me, but... Medical waste. Not sure I want to go in there. It's stuck. Maybe I can get in the medical waste room. Through the air vents. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, I see what you want from me. Okay, so the air vents were over here. Or the only air vent I saw. Okay, that's one way to do it. I cannot see. Jeez. Alright. Hello? Oh, did you do the old... Oh, you just did the old air vent way. Bro, you could have just made me crawl. Not so difficult. Alright, whatever. Okay. Okay, where are we? Hello? It's your boy, Daddy? I'm here to do something. You know, we don't really know. We don't know what's up. Hello? Oh, we made it. I don't know why I was trying to get to the medical waste room. 
Um, obviously, blood is medical waste. Disposal. Come on, there we go. Oh, yeah, see, like, blood, medical waste. Hmm, same difference. All right, can I get up here? Yes, okay, I was, like, struggling to jump. All right, up the ladder we go. And into the vents, 2.0. Into the vents we go. Okay, what's here? Okay. Nope, no clue where I'm going, so... If I am a legend and actually got to the right place on my first try, that would be cool. Wow. Absolutely legendary. Alright, is this somewhere I can go? Nope, cool. Um, let's get up here. Uh, okay, we've got male restroom, which I'll obviously have to check out, and this is... Something? <laughs> Oh, cash! They just leave it in someone's room? Oh my gosh, dude, these guys are unprofessional. Okay, I can't get it to do the thing that I wanted to do, so. Okay, okay, alrighty, alrighty, that's a lot of freaking cash, dude. That's a lot of cash, bruh. Okay, mail restroom. Is that. Uh, no, it's just a missing text, jerk! Hmm. 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 <laughs> yep, obviously there's cash in the urinals as well. Uh, hello? You got cash in here? Oh, whoa, I can walk through like 90% of the toilet. Honestly, why are your models so big? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to think mean, but like, why are they so big? Alright, um, and where's the female restroom too? Tornado shelter in case of emergency. Isn't this entire thing a tornado shelter? <laughs> like, it's basement four. Our tornado is not getting down here, I will tell you that. I mean, I've never experienced a tornado, so maybe it will, but maybe it could, but I doubt it. During a tornado, make your way to basements two through four. If in basement four, proceed to the tornado shelter. Well, I mean, I don't understand, but... Because I feel like, oh, is this going to be a thing where you have to worry about food? Because I can't see my food, so I assumed not. I'm going to skip out on the tornado shelter for right now. Feel like it's not critical. Capacity eight. Second dining room. Cafeteria. Okie dokie. This is very, very cramped. Like, I don't know what's going on down here, but you guys need space. Jeebus. Okay, we can't go back there. We can sort of peek over the edge there. Um, hello, you got more cash for me? You have a... Okay, can't click that one for some reason. Probably because this is like a thing there, yeah. Alright, okay, just gonna uh, scratch my nose a little bit there. Um, oh, there's more cash. See, I mean, these guys, dude, I don't even know what's up. They just, they're like, yeah, it's just like a patient room, but we just like put cash everywhere, you know. It's just, and who knows what Titan Research was doing, you know. Like, who really knows? It'll be an unknown thing forever. Got medical waste, so obviously it's something medical, but, uh. You know, what exactly is a good question? What is that? Is that supposed to be a sink or something? It looks disgusting. I mean, it has been abandoned for years, but it's still, it's disgusting. Okay. Okay, boomer. You know, I get called a boomer a lot. <laughs> Washroom. One person only. Omelet. Omelet. Omelet? You want omelet? I'm sorry, I just... Whenever I play a horror map, I get super critical for some reason. Because I don't know, I feel like if you want to establish a good horror map, the atmosphere needs to be perfect. Right? You need everything. It needs to seem real if you want people to be scared by things. And I don't know. Not a lot of horror maps achieve that. I'm sorry. Don't mean any... Don't mean anything against you, but, uh, you know, I just... Whenever, whenever I play a horror map, I just get super... Picky. I start like attacking everything. Okay, we got a stick, a beating stick. Yeah, just just a stick. Okay. I have saturation. I'm not sure I understand why that whole deal. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can't leave. I figured. But yeah, I just I don't know. I get super critical when I'm playing horror maps. So apologies. Don't mean anything against you, but. Maybe it's because I play so many just absolutely horrible horror maps, which this is not. Uh, you know, there's obviously some effort put put into this. There's some good textures. I don't know if you just stole those, which a lot of horror maps do. Um, and if you didn't, I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't mean anything mean by that, but uh, I'm just just saying, like, a lot of people just steal. Is that supposed to be a clock? <laughs> Could have just made a clock texture. 
Um, alright. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just get super critical of horror maps. Because I, I played so many bad ones. That's the big deal. Okay, I don't know where this roof went. Like, it collapsed in somewhere. <laughs> but it's not here. Okay, so the only two places left to go are the tornado shelter and the other things. So let's go let's go to the tornado shelter before we head upstairs. Because I want to check all this stuff out. Oh, I'm probably going to get locked in here. Or it's just locked anyway. And there's just a chair down here. <laughs> it's just like, yo, I'm the chair. I'm a chair. What you going to do about it? Oh, that's the restroom, not the stairwell. The stairwell is here. Oh my god, it's so small. Why is it so small? Who makes this tiny of a stairwell? Basement 3. Well, hello. Welcome to basement 4. Look, there's a door back there. What? But it's basement 3. Dude, this is basement 3, you idiot. You absolute fool. This is basement 3. This, this is things. I just, like, poke. You know, because... I think the whole point of a horror map is that, like, you know, you, you relate to the character, or you can see yourself in their shoes, and, like, that makes you tense, right? Because you're walking around, and you, you sort of place yourself inside the character, and it's all dark and spooky, and you don't know, you know, and it, it seems real, right? But just little things like that can throw it off. Of course, you know, I've made a map very similar to this, and that would be Reality of Dreams, and I am not saying that that is any good. In fact, it's not. It's not a good horror map. Um, do not use Reality of Dreams. Uh, exp uh, Reality of Dreams, the original, was okay. Reality of Dreams, uh, Living Nightmares, is uh, not great. Listen before you lose a head. Lose a head. Listen before you lose a head. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, but yeah, I I've made a map like this before, and I'm not saying by any means that it's good. I'm not saying that everything I make is great, of course. Um, I always try to make that clear that I am familiar with these things but that doesn't mean that I can always execute on them either because it is hard you have to spend so much time if you know, if you want to clear up every single detail and that's why something like grief is absolutely incredible because the amount of detail and just perfection in that world was amazing you know there was so much everywhere and why is this room the only room that's labeled we don't know you know <laughs> Oh, it's got a key. So, you know, this is the thing. You just walk around, and then you find stuff that you need before you need it. All right. But, yeah, I, uh, I just get picky out horror maps. Because, again, like I said, I just think they require the most attention to detail. You need to be willing to spend, you know, a long time sitting around, making sure, not sitting around, but going through it again and again, and making sure that everything makes sense. The story is real-ish. It doesn't have to be perfectly real. Or you could go completely the other direction and make it totally, like, unreal. But you have to put it in a grounded world. It has to, the world has to be grounded. It can't seem kind of a little nonchalant or something. Wait, an entire hallway? Why would this have restricted entry? See, something like that. Like, it ain't weird for a hallway to have restricted entry. I, you know, I, I don't think that's particularly odd. Um, and stuff like, you know, the missing, you know, saying it was basement four instead of basement three. Like, I don't know, that ain't too weird. That, that, you know, that ruined the, the whole thing. I've got testing rooms, of course. And there's always cliches that you gotta try and stay away from, but I think uh, as long as you play to Minecraft's strengths and you make a good map, it doesn't really make a difference if it's a cliche, you know, if, if it's sort of cliche or not. In my opinion. Okay. That's another thing why stuff like... Uh, nothing's by... Who was it? Um, I can't remember. Like, antagonism. Why that was so great. You know, that was super cool. Because there was... Like, it just... It felt real. It made sense. You were homeless. And, like, that's something that doesn't really happen. You didn't do anything particularly odd. You just kind of... Went and did homeless things, I guess, you know. Um, let me see if any of these rooms are openable with this key. Okay, no. Alright, so I don't know if there's anything back here. Because, uh, well, currently there, we got this uh, nice gravel blocked thing. We got all this gravel over here, which is completely blocking everything over this direction. 
which includes an exit as usual. Um, yeah. Like, I, I've just literally turned me playing a horror map, uh, voice crack, me playing a horror map into just like, <clears throat> these are the things you should do for a horror map, these are the things that I don't recommend, you know, <laughs> it's funny. I tend to do that, though. I don't have anything to talk about, and, this is the, and these are the things that I know. You know, I make maps. That's what I do. So, of course, I, I know about this stuff. Okay, maybe this is the, um, ow. Maybe this is the, uh, the, the tornado shelter test uh, thing. Open key. <laughs> and then there's also that. <laughs> when I'm trying to come up with something to say, it just it usually goes to that. Um, but, yeah, I just talk about it because I know maps. I make maps. You know, I... I don't make a living off of maps, of course, but, uh, I... Okay, what the heck is this for? Why do I have a key? And where does it go? And what do I do? What do I do? I didn't see these up here, but they're just water bottles and useless stuff. Cool. Uh, right. So I don't know if I'm gonna get something to, like, break gravel, or what's going on here. Okay, that's a weird block. So dialogue certainly seemed to be happening when I entered the restricted hallway. So let's, let's go back there again. Um, no entry. Yeah, cool. Right. Um, and yeah, another thing, just, you know, I pointed this out before, but look at this. This glitching texture. The Z fighting. Like, why is it Z fighting? Why is there a texture below the computer? It doesn't seem to be serving any purpose. You know? So. It's just, yeah, like I said, horror maps require so much attention to detail that it's, it, they're very hard to get right. Um, okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, find something in here that's like, whoa, bro. Whoa, bro. Oh, shoot. How did I not see that? Did I not open these? Can break iron bars. Okay. That was my fault. <laughs> that was really dumb. That I just didn't open that. I'm guessing that's why I didn't. Iron bars, though. Where are there iron bars? Have I seen iron bars? Have they been retextured, or do they look like iron bars? I don't know. And I think another thing you have to watch out for with horror maps. I don't know why I'm just talking about this stuff, but another thing you have to watch out for in horror maps uh, is I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but like the trap of predictability, or sort of the the unrealness of some things. You know, like yeah, what does this say? This, the elevator is at B4. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, but just things like, I don't know, like, why can't I just push the gravel out of the way to get to the exit? And that was something that Grief did well because it was in your head, right? And you're not trapped anywhere, really. You don't feel like this, this sense of, uh, I can't, you know, I don't know. I just felt like I didn't, I wasn't, my goal wasn't, as a, as a character, wasn't to get out, and so I wasn't constantly wondering, well, why can't I just leave, you know? <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't on my mind, right? Whereas in this case, oh, I never went in here, my goal is to leave, and I'm like, okay, well, why couldn't I just do this, or, you know, why can't, why couldn't can I just do this? And like, okay, it's locked, sure, but, I don't know, it feels like, it's, it's always locked, or, you know, like, there are things you can do, I don't know. But that's just what I'm calling, like, the trap of predictability. Oh, right, I can't actually go anywhere, because I'm stuck in this section of B4, because I didn't, yeah, I wonder if I could fall through the floor somewhere, because I came through a vent. Um, like, what is this axe for? I don't know. <laughs> This is another thing. You know, you can't be too vague. You can't be too obvious. You can't say, oh, well, I need to take this axe to X and X location and... Oh, here, okay. To X and X location and do this. You know, you can't say that, but you can't just be like, oh, well, this can break that. And you're like, well, where's that? You're like, oh, well, I remember seeing some iron bars on the way up to B4. Or on the way up, on, you know, just out the exit staircase from b3 or something like that i don't know it's it's very hard to get right but you need to be like not obvious but obvious because you need to f players need to feel like they're figuring it out but it needs to be not confusing 
And something like this, shoot, something like this research center, I guess, that's so non-linear, you know, you're like, well, I don't know, I didn't get into that, you know, I didn't get into the tornado shelter down on the other floor, so there's this key I have, go to that tornado shelter down there, does that matter, or do I want to go up and do like this, uh, I don't know, you know, I think that's a hard thing to do, and I think that's why horror games work, mm, not, I hadn't, I'm hesitant to say best, but I think they work a little better, and they're easier to control when they're linear. You know, like, oh, well, the player can only do these few things, or in this the area is only this big, and, you know, once they solve it, they get moved on to another area. Something like that. Okay, after we find out what the heck is this library is for, I'm going to have to leave this episode here. Okay, I don't understand what's going on. Like, why did I come in here? Don't know. Can't answer that question. Why can this amazing axe that can break iron bars not break these bookshelves? Who knows? Okay, what am I doing? Why am I here? You want me to run down every one of these aisles? Because I can do that. I mean, like, what's the point? Why did I open that? Why did I spend the time breaking these iron bars? For rows and rows of bookcases. They ain't gonna do me no good. Alright. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I actually did. I was having fun. You know, this map isn't as bad as some of the horror maps. But I hope you guys did enjoy. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully where we come back to this. It'll probably be tomorrow. Uh, probably, but that's not a guarantee. Uh, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.